Immobilize 232. I think this is a fake. This is not fake. This guy has double your army right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to our thrilling Divergences of Darkness campaign. As seen in this critically acclaimed video, Bohemia went from these borders in 1836 to forming a huge union including all of Germany. However, Burgundy launched a surprise attack, pushed the Holy Roman Empire's army all the way across his country, forcing him to surrender, and in the peace deal took two states for himself and released two for his ally Scandinavia. One of the reasons that HRE couldn't win this war was because he hasn't got his accepted pops yet through the decision. I missed the part where that's my problem. He's easily still a great power even after losing that war. He needs nationalism and imperialism which is unlocked in 1850. The year right now is 1848. He will get that tech before the truce with Burgundy ends, so Burgundy can't really do anything before that. And that leaves the final requirement owns Frankfurt because the decision is to move the capital city there. Some very attentive viewers on the last video pointed out that Burgundy could have taken Frankfurt in the peace deal where he defeated the HRE. That would have been an amazingly good play if Burgundy had thought to do it, which he didn't. The HRE getting all the German and accepted pops will absolutely skyrocket his mobilisation potential. And we all know what that means. So Burgundy is left in this awkward position, and there's still the small issue of the dual monarchy to worry about. Even after getting that shocking great victory against the HRE, it seems that Burgundy is still destined to just be eaten by the HRE and the dual monarchy, sandwiched between them. Scandinavia is in a terrible state, he's been fighting Eastern European wars and Western European wars, and he barely has any soldier pops left. Will the dual monarchy continue to allow Burgundy to get 1v1s against the HRE? Will he demand something off Burgundy in exchange? Or will he just intervene and put Burgundy out of his misery once and for all? This video won't just cover the HRE plotline. The other plotlines that you've seen from this same campaign, Aragon and the No Guy Horde, are about to get merged. Everything is coming together. So if you'd like to see what's happened there, you can watch these videos. This isn't a series, but it sort of is one. It's a cinematic universe. It's Marvel. Most of you have been watching the videos just as they're uploaded, so you're watching them in the right order anyway. But some of the videos have a lot more views than the others, so some people might get mixed up. In any case, the playlist will help you watch all these in the correct order, as if they were a series. About one third of the way through the video, my my footage returns and I continue playing as Aragon after being substituted by Big Weevil. And then after that, it's even going to go beyond the point that this Aragon video ended at. So we're going to see what happens with my Aragon after this video and how it connects to the no guy, the HRE and all the plot lines. Trust me, it makes sense. I greatly appreciate all the generous people who support the channel through the channel memberships and Patreon. Thank you very much. And if you want to join those people, the links are always in the description. Now, enjoy the video. I understand surrendering that Burgundy state, I can't remember what it's called, Dijon, because you get calls on that. I'd honestly give it you just so I can just do another war without your interference against HOE. Would, would that war just involve you a 1v1 or you and Scandi? Oh, it depends. I'm, I'm not too sure yet. I'm watching everyone's brigade count with great interest. But how many states of Europe would you actually concede? A voluntary one. How many am I going to concede to you? Probably four. I don't think I can stop you from taking more. I I'm not bothered about houses, honestly, too much. Three states then. Essentially. It's fucking frustrating <laughs> doing different with a map painter. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You are a map painter. I'm bringing Pierre to rehab. He's no longer painting map in MP. He's fucking just getting a Microsoft Paint copy and just doing it there. The only other person I can approach is Aragon. And I don't think it's worth approaching him at this point to ask him. He's in the chat, by the way. I'm right here. I know. I know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm not going to ask you to help me. I'm very scared. Pierre genocides North Italians. I only did that because, um, what is it? Spain you have a meta grudge against Keystone. Three months, I have course on all the land I have, and more. I can mobilize 232. I think this is a fake number, I think this is a fake number. This is not fake. This is, this is fake. Fun well. I'm just gonna sell the Highlands at this point.
Well, HR is probably fully mobbing. That's probably what he's waiting for. Burgundy, shouldn't you attack I before? I mean, do you have cost? I don't. I don't right? I, no, no, I don't have a wall call. That's why I'm waiting. Uh, you, you should have justified a wall call to attack him before he's fully mobilized. He's got no commander in one of those. Rilo, you could concentrate your troops in the north, attack Münster and the plains with your attack general. Scandy just surrender. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, his navy's. You should then immediately dumb. join the HRE war. Hey, Rilio, if you have the time, can you spare me, please? Thank you. It's really Who's this? I mean, he really? should join immediately. Oh, I'm sorry. Sure, I'll spare you. Thank you. Oh, you're not going to get out Hydrox isn't too high to sustain. You have 30k, you have 30k on your most southern. Who does put music on? Uh, that's, uh, that's one of the bots. Oh, try uh, that would be... that would be Shark. <sighs> oh, he's going in. That's good, that's good, that's good. Where is my defense? I mean, that's general? another prime example why shape is so important. Like, you bear both of equal strength, but the uh, HAE had a way better shape. I don't have many arms. You need to counter attack. You, uh, he is sitting on three provinces. You have no choice but to counter attack. This guy has double your army right now. Is he still mobilized? Probably. 400 brigades. Yeah, oh, hopefully he is still mobilizing. Oh my god. Either you're going to peace out, or you're going to drag him down with you. I think your best option right now is just to like, hug down to HRE become, and become his puppet Netherlands or something. You're either gonna like, get partitioned, or you're gonna become a puppet of one of them. And then they're gonna fight each other. He has so many more troops than I do. Jesus. He's attacking me down south. I fought. I lost. I mean, you tried. You, you died fighting. It was an uphill battle to begin with. Once the HRE forms, like, it, not much you can do. Once they've killed Burgundy, it's just going to be a big cold war between the dual monarchy and Tatarstan. I mean, the HRE. <laughs> <laughs> Tatarstan. Yeah, Tatarstan. Yeah, because once Muscovy's gone, Poland is next in Tatarstan's path. So they're yeah. going to. And then... Turn Poland into my vassal state. The HRE is next. Am I supposed to I... fucking give him Pomerania? I don't know. Yeah, you were supposed uh, to tell me it. Scandi was going to sell me it. No, you well. weren't. They're gaslighting you. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, well, literally he told me to sell that once that war was over. Against yeah, sure, Burgundy. sure. We didn't negotiate the details, but... He didn't leave me any instructions. Come on, Riley, I'll do some fucking diplos! <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. go. There it is. Oh, 
Oh, it's over. It's all ogre now. Big battles? It's ogre. No, I, 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 fucked, I fucked up actually. Okay, he's cycling. I pray for the reinforced tech. I pray for the reinforced tech. I'm uh, doing Valley of the Kings. Let's see Let's see, let's see uh, how big uh, is it. Oh. Terrible? Nah, pretty bad. Nah. Pretty yeah, bad. Pretty bad. Oh, you're westernized. Ooh. But you're westernized, what the fuck? Yeah, he just westernized. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, not just, it's been like a couple of years now. Oh, nice. Here's the thing, I don't think we need the Ottomans in this, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Muscovy is sufficiently cucked. I'm not. I'm probably not gonna join this. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, he, he beat you to the draw. That's bullshit. Shooter. So Tarstan has as many brigades as Muscovy. Mm -hmm. He has no artillery. That's a quick wipe. That is a quick wipe. It's gonna get stack wipe before he can reinforce it. Oh, never Almost mind. Bad oh, clutch. I'm so sad. You put attack. You put an attack four in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He could have gotten a quick wipe on PLC in the planes with that four attack instead of doing this. He's sending another thirty. A thirty stack. You just keep sending the artillery <laughs> in, man. The Novgorod has a 4-4. Four, four. Oh Novgorod shit, has a Novgorod! Four, four. Oh. Hey, I'm Novgorod has a plus 4 and a plus 4-4. Four, four. Like and, look, and, and just like that, Volk's entire army is dead. Yeah. He's demobbing and remobbing. Too late for that. Oh, never too late to cope and see so He's doing it. Volk, well, are you playing the Jingo Kana? Yeah, I'm gonna switch. What, to the Jingo? It's a yeah. Why? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll shittiest to nation among <laughs> shitty nations. Play I don't know. Know. No, 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 no. What were you on? Well, like, why, don't, why don't you play Sapovitz and get Russia? <laughs> um, hold on. Am I You're gonna die right too, or... so... Go on Moogles, bro. Let's start, alright. I'm on. Play, Everyone tap in, we're the... starting. You play Bjorn, I'm gonna fuck Actually, you guys haven't started yet? You guys haven't started yet? You guys haven't started yet? We just started, man. Oh, fuck. I want to peace out the most annoying AI. Yeah. That's fine. So I don't get. He's the guy uh, playing Zungar. Uh, you guys should reinforce that uh, Moscow battle, by the way. The Cape Republic still owes me infamy. I don't Cable. know about that. I gave him the South Africa. 
pub and start burgling cars. You still won't pay me back for it. Demand your fucking payment. Demand it. I am. I want. I want infamy. Hey, right. Demand it. So you can, please. I don't know if, what I do. Yeah, start your negotiated transfer. On Give me the damn infamy. Oh, I'll eat you. Yeah, uh, I'll fucking eat. I'll fucking eat you. <laughs> I don't know if Burgundy can. I'll fucking eat you. I want my infamy off you, and if I don't get my infamy off you, I'm going to kill you. Okay, but I'll protect you against Burgundy. So if you declare war on the Ottomans, Poland joins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we win that? I mean, how many brigades do you have? I guess that's the big question. Well, I can build about 50 more when I can actually get the goods to build them. Right, listen, Kuki, right, you're in the Aragonese Italian sphere, all right, and we're going to have a great partnership going forward that can give you money. I'll do all the things the Sphere Lord does. Did I kill you for him? It did. Yeah, it did. All right, Hello. Spud, let's see that spear of yours build factories in me. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you want an insight into the DM, if you wanna be my lover, if you want an insight into the, okay, if you want insight into the DM, Holy Roman Empire diplomacy. Well, this is gonna eat me. It's a primitive nation. Oh, you were, you were released Wait. Indonesia. Oh, you released. Oh, released it's primitive. Others. Never mind. I thought it was Indonesia. You released Indonesia. I'll play Indonesia. Wait, Indonesia has begun. <laughs> you can release that. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, Actually, wow, that's wow, amazing. Is this mark based? But that no, actually the screws it over. I would have gone to Indonesia because I thought when, her, when I released it, it was going to be Civ. It was a decision to organize Indonesia, and I thought like that would have made it Civ. French international player Paul Pogba. Yeah, what's going on? Are you just going to ally with the dual monarchy the whole game? No, I'm not. The Burgundy they are, no. no! You're Burgundy getting you fucking destroyed. You're getting encircled almost. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. They're shitting on me, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm actually going to need a grant, so I have all requests. PG Awesome, I'm about ready to declare this war. Are you going to be declaring on the Ottomans? Yeah, I'll start mobbing and funding. Okay. Listen, declare the war soon. We can kind of surprise attack them. A lot of things happen in this episode, so here's the map of Europe as we end it. Many changes compared to where we started. From Western Europe and the complete death of Burgundy, Scandinavia losing the last of Scotland, and they did actually go through with that exchange of Pomerania back to the HRE without a fight. All the way over to the Nogai Horde area where we've seen the full death of Muscovy, and the last of their land being partitioned between PLC and Tatarstan. And even Scandinavia going in for them now. So here's what Burgundy did, right? After being unequivocally defeated with no chance of coming back, he tried to release a country to play as. Indonesia would have been very viable if it was a civilised nation, but it started off with 0% save progress, so the Burgundy player didn't want to play it, but some other random player took interest and started playing it. He also released the Netherlands to maybe play it, but ultimately decided not to and he bowed out of the campaign. I'll bring up the war analyzer for his wars later by the way. Now over to my Aragon Italy. After forming my map, eating more Spanish land, optimizing the industry and building up the army to its force limit, I'm finally ready to get into a war. Simply attacking Hungary and partitioning them with the PLC and the Ottomans would be the extremely boring map painting, no challenging war route. I could easily do that, but I want to try and support Hungary, being a bit sympathetic having had my own difficult Hungary campaign, and fight a really interesting war where I have the potential to take good stuff from the Ottomans like the Suez region, but this decision comes with huge risks. I'm about to get into a war where I might meet some terrible, fearsome enemies. As a rising power, I was lucky enough to fill the vacuum of Burgundy by sphering South Africa. He's been playing single player for the first two sessions, but he could come in very useful in later wars, and my sphere and the economic stuff really benefits him. Oh, and Arcadia formed, but there was only one player in North America in this campaign, so he's also playing single player. 
Here is the war analyzer for Burgundy's declaration against the HRE. Huge war, 1 million casualties to Burgundy, 1.2 million to the HRE. Burgundy obviously lost this due to the HRE's overwhelming numbers advantage with mobilization. Having taken his decision to move the capital to Frankfurt and get all the German pops accepted in late 1850, was there any way that Burgundy could have had a chance to win this war if, say for example, he caught the HRE before he was mobilized? Even if he manages to pull something like that off, they have equal professional brigade counts, the HRE is fully funded on his border, Burgundy would be really struggling to break through anyway. The long and short of it is that Burgundy was simply screwed unless he just took Frankfurt in that previous war. There is another tool, and I mean tool in a couple of different senses of the word, that Burgundy could have had at his disposal. As Big Weevil pointed out, Scandinavia could have joined Burgundy's war against the Holy Roman Empire. Having just been declared on by the dual monarchy for the Highlands, using a real casus belly, not a transfer, he would have chosen the dual monarchy out of joining that war in retaliation. However, the dual monarchy could have justified a casus belly on Burgundy, creating a a separate war situation but probably merged in war score. Scandi and Burgundy would have as much time as it takes the dual monarchy to justify that war to defeat the Holy Roman Empire. It might have worked with Scandinavia outflanking the HRE from the north, but they didn't really think about it or try that. Still an extremely difficult task even if they pull this off, but it was worth a try, there's nothing to lose anyway. So there were many different things that Burgundy and Scandi could have done to have a better outcome in this whole situation that we can look at in hindsight. That's why when you lose a war, you need to get rid of the negative mindset and look for creative ways to make your comeback. There's a lot of problem solving you can do with truces, spherelings and all that. That's why Victoria 2 multiplayer is great, there's loads of ways to come back after you lose one war. And making that comeback is often about the player's character and their will to fight on after bad circumstances. It worked out for me if you think back to my Aragon situation in this very campaign. Will didn't have much of that will on Scandinavia here, but Burgundy had a lot, he just couldn't find the exact right things to do. But he really did try. Then he had to fight the dual monarchy which was the nail in the coffin and Burgundy was finished after this war. Another country that was finished after one final desperate war was Muscovy. Even though Tatarstan is civilised and can match Muscovy in professional brigades, PLC still did 90% of the fighting for old times sake. And for some reason the Ottomans was actually in the war even though he didn't participate in it. So after that war plus one follow up war against the Muscovy AI that Tatarstan did, Muscovy is reduced to one state and their puppet Novgorod. I think the Muscovy player really should have moved to the Dzunga or the Safavids or something, just to annoy Tatarstan, perfectly legitimate since Tatarstan wasn't on the roster and we remember that Virtual Rock just played it on a whim. The Muscovy player should do the same to him a little bit, but he chose game health and he substituted for the good of the community instead. All of the early game conflicts in this campaign in Europe are over and things are progressing to a new age. A new age in which Aragon Italy is going to play a huge part and there's going to be a brilliant war that we see in the next video. Thanks so much for watching everyone, another reminder of the channel memberships and Patreon and everything and watch my streams, I currently have an ongoing stream campaign on Sundays. There's going to be a lot of Victoria 3 related content and stuff coming up on the channel so we're all looking forward to that right? Anyway have a nice day.